Hello everyone. Today in this video, we are going to see how quickly and easily we can integrate Firebase push notification with Flutter. In our previous video, we integrated Firebase authentication with Flutter and the video previous to that, we integrated the Firebase core with Flutter. So if you haven't checked those videos, go check it now because we need to integrate a Firebase core with all the projects that we will be doing from now onwards. So let's get started with Firebase push notification. So let's first check out the documentation. We need to type flutter firebase push notification and we will reach the documentation of push notification so here i will be uh, doing push notification for android there are uh, many more steps for ios so for now we will leave the ios part and let's just do the quick integration first so first thing we need to do is that we need to install this firebase messaging package and the command is here in the documentation so you just need to copy this command and run this command in the terminal i already have this package installed so i won't be doing it again once the package is there we need to generate the FCM token. Before generating the FCM token, let's first import the package. The package that we in, uh, just installed is uh, Firebase Messaging. So let's type messaging and we are getting a Firebase Messaging. This is the quick and easy way to do the import thing so that we don't have to do all this typing and now we need to bind the application with the framework so for that we need to use the command widget flutter binding ensure initialized same as the thing that we used in our previous projects so this basically binds the application with the framework and this is important for uh, using the firebase with your app so the next thing that we need to do is that we need to initialize the firebase app so for that we need to import the core of firebase So here we have the core of Firebase and now we need to do the initialization. So initialization is uh, asynchronous. So let's make this main function asynchronous and now we can use await here. So this is basically the statement for initializing the Firebase and once the Firebase is initialized we can go ahead and we can generate the FCM token. So the statement for generating FCM token is here in the documentation. We will just copy this 
statement and we will print the FCM token in the terminal again you can see we have to use await so for that also we need main to be asynchronous and before we generate the token we need to make some changes in Android Gradle build so we need to go to Android app and build gradle and in the build gradle you need to make new, uh, two new uh, changes you need to change the compiled SDK version to 33 and we need to make the minimum SDK version to 19 this is at the time when I am making this tutorial that is 31st January 2023 so this is the requirement for using Firebase cloud messaging with Flutter so after making these two changes we can go ahead and we can run our application and this should give us the FCM token I faced, faced some difficulties in getting the FCM token at first go so you might have to uh, do the compilation one to two times as I have to do that or it may give you at the first time itself. So now let's go ahead and run this application. While the application is being built, we will go and check the documentation for the next step. And the next step says that we need to go to cloud messaging tab so let's open the cloud messaging tab and here we need to go to the firebase project that we created earlier and we need to tap on the messaging tab on the left side and here we can create the diff different campaigns so I will go ahead and create a campaign and I will select Firebase notification messages because this is not an in-app message but I want to send a message when the uh, device is uh, in sleep mode and here we need to give the title uh, message and optional image is also there so I'm just waiting for the app to run okay so now our app is running and we have got the token so we will copy the token from here in a real world app we need to be, uh, save this token in our backend server from where we can generate the notifications but for now we can just copy this and we can use it so let's give a test title and test notification message and I also want to give a image here let me see if I have a image link okay here I have an image let's see if this works okay this should work and now again I have to copy this token We have to tap on send test message and I already have a token here so I will first uh, try to use this one or I can just go ahead with a new token so let's use the new token I think both the tokens are same so let's send the test message oh here is our notification so you can see it 
it is here and it has the picture the picture that we added so yeah so uh, a simple test notification is very easy to be sent and when it is minimized it looks like this and when we maximize it it looks like this uh, the size of the picture need to be uh, customized because this picture is not very uh, good in notification it's not looking very good so we have to adjust the size of picture but uh, this is how we can use the notification feature and I don't think it can be easier than this this is pretty much easy and this is the basic of notification in the next video we will see how we can uh, do some uh, advanced things using firebase push notification for example how we can uh, do the routing and how we can just uh, go to a specific screen when we tap the uh, push notification so for now I think this was very easy to get started with push notification if you like the video do give a thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel for more such videos thank you